What's up, Taurus? This is Soul here. And Taurus, uh, this is your uh, bi-weekly, excuse me, bi-weekly messages beginning uh, May 7th and ending uh, May 20th, 2018. The messages will be for Taurus uh, Moon and Taurus Rising. Uh, before I begin your uh, reading, Taurus, I want to wish all those bulls who are celebrating their birthdays. During this two-week period of time, a very safe and happy birthday celebration. Also, for those who celebrate Cinco de Mayo, happy Cinco de Mayo. And then the final thing, for all the mothers who are mothers and soon-to-be mothers, I want to wish you all a very, very glorious happy Mother's Day. Okay, so Taurus, let's get right into this energy here. Uh, you know, I always like to... Um, I'm using this different deck. This is the I call this the ghetto blaster deck of uh, tarot. It's the original <laughs> wider weight, but it's the extra large cards. I don't know if I'm going to continue uh, to use them for the um, energy of the month and stuff because they're so hard to handle in terms of shuffling. But uh, whew, I did the best that I could do. But I wanted to change up the energy because it is a new month and just to see what uh, comes up or is in store. All right. So. There might be, you know, and this is a general reading, you know, these are just general messages and, and, you know, it's not going to resonate or apply to everyone. So please do not take it uh, that way or be offended if the messages aren't, um, you know, supporting you and whatever it is that you're going through uh, in your life. And this reading is going to cover all areas and aspects as well. So. Because I'm reading for you, Taurus, and you represent um, Earth energy and then um, as well as, you know, Virgo and Capricorn, the pentacles are here, quite a bit of pentacles here. So I like to see that type of energy uh, for whatever sign that I'm reading for the elements to show up to represent them. So the overall theme for you for the next two weeks uh, relates to the page of pentacles that's showing up in the reverse position. OK, now two things could be in play. Um, someone from the past two weeks landed a position or got a job because this, you know, Pinnacles represents an offering of a job. Could be a promotion. Could also be a birth of a child since the page is always represents, uh, you know, children and infants, newborns. Uh, and also, too, it could have been like someone has received, um, you know, like a pay raise or something like that, a small pay raise. For the others, though, if it's not related to past, uh, you know, energies, then this energy here is there's a job that's still coming. Someone is waiting for a job or waiting to hear about a job. Also, too, it could be a birth that's, uh, you know, someone who is expecting, but they're not going to go on their due date. Uh, there is a promotion coming through. There is a, a pay raise or a commission or something coming through as well. Uh, the page represents an actual person, so it could be, um, you know, that you have exchanges with this type of energy. Yeah, I'm getting something about it. either I'm reading for a young Taurus who is um, about to get a job, has landed a job or a promotion, someone younger in age. Okay, so uh, someone is waiting for a relationship to occur. Well, hell, aren't we all? I'm getting this specific message because of the lovers. That comes right after this page of Pentacles. And the lovers is showing up in a reverse position. So this is, of course, about romance. But because this is a, uh, you know, all out general reading covering all other areas, it could be a business partnership, uh, maybe somebody who's in partnership with someone and there's a delay or something that's going on. This is a uh, energy representative of not being on the same page. The chemistry is not there when it comes to romance or there is some, you know, situation related to not uh, seeing eye to eye on things. So for others. Someone is waiting for a relationship to begin. That's that one specific message for the others, though. It's like, again, the energy relates to having to uh, deal with relationships that come center stage. Now, that could be, 
you know, all facets, you know, family, friends, uh, romance, something is just quite not right here. All right. So and, you know, I for the life of me um, trying to understand, because normally the energy for the one for you, Taurus or any other zodiac sign that I'm, I'm reading for when it's your birthday and it approaches, it's usually good energy. I don't know. Maybe there's just something else that's going on that I'm not even aware of. But anyway. As a true reader, I'm just going to stick to what I get and then get, you know, put it out there. And like I said before, do not um, get, you know, really bent out of shape about these messages that are coming through because they may not relate to you. And then, you know, have the opportunity to uh, look at your uh, moon sign and your rising signs. And there may be um, other messages there that do relate to you, whatever you choose to do. OK, so lovers is not being on the same page. Seeing eye to eye with business partnerships. This is also friendships. This also could be extended to the family. So I feel that there's something that could be going on with a family member that's younger than you or you're the youngest. And there's an issue going on with the family um, with the lovers showing up in the reverse. Lovers represent Gemini, other air signs. So there might be uh, Taurus, younger Taurus waiting to. Uh, to get a relationship started with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. And then there's uh, a family issue that could be going on. There's a possible friendship issue that might be going on. So I'm giving you all kinds of uh, data and information so that you can work with. OK, and nothing is written in stone. So Ten of Swords is showing up here. And uh, I like the fact that the Ten of Swords is showing up in the reverse position because this is the backstabbing card of energy. Ten of Swords is um, having to have dealt with uh, trust. And, if you know, ironically, it follows the, the uh, you know, the lovers. So I feel that, the, the you know, relationships come center stage, but it doesn't necessarily have to be exclusive to romance. It could be some kind of, uh, Ten of Swords energy that created conflict for you with a family member, a romantic partnership, business partnership, um, you know, someone that you work with, co-worker, uh, just a lot of conflict um, coming to an end. Someone may have had, um, you know, inpatient, outpatient surgery. Ten of Swords always gives me the surgical procedures and it may have been you know, uh, a back surgery, it could have been a back surgery, it could be any type of surgery, but whatever surgery you had, if it's not you, then it's somebody that you know, it was very, very painful. So they're coming or overcoming, a, you know, surgical, um, a surgical procedure and the decreasing of uh, some type of pain. The pain was intense, very intense. Okay, that's the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords outside of any surgical procedures relates to, uh, just to show you in contrast here, Taurus, it relates to, it's like the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is lying, cheating, uh, be, uh, betrayal. And this goes one step further. It's all of those things that are in the Nine of Swords energy. But this is like that whole, you're worried, you're concerned, you're conflicted because you've placed your trust into an individual or a situation and it didn't turn out the way that you expected or they did something to you uh, and then you didn't expect them to do whatever it is that they did to you. And this is why the uh, it could be male or female that's in this bed with his, his or her hands over his head, uh, just feeling defeated, just like, uh, you know, done in. It's because of trust placing too much trust um, within a situation or an individual. And then that situation or individual sort of like betrays you or it doesn't come to, um, if it's a situation that doesn't come to uh, pass the way that you were hoping that it came to pass, if it's an actual person, uh, disbelief that someone could have done something to you. That's the, you know, putting too much trust in another person. It follows the lovers, okay? And, it's, and the lovers is in the reverse. Then it's for the others following the uh, Ten of Swords energy. 
Uh, and the Ten of Swords represents air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. I forgot to mention that. This is you again, Pentacles, juggling at. In the upright position, you're out of balance a little bit, trying to juggle two things. It could be two jobs, two relationships. Um, excuse me. You know, it could be something, you know, related to balancing the books. Uh, the ship in the background is on this uh, water, but it's like it's, it's you know, going up, you know, like a going up, yeah, an uphill battle or something, trying to balance something out, trying to, you know, make it through the waves. I wouldn't say, yeah, well, I guess it could be turbulence, too. You know, there's some sort of turbulence because the water is not flat. It's it's hilly like, you know, or wavy, I should say. So that's trying to balance uh, something out in your uh, life during this two week period of time, whatever that is for you. It could be, you know, related to children. Um, like two things going on. It's the number two, Pentacles represent you, and then represents Capricorn and Taurus, male or female. Now the magician shows up here in the reverse position. So underneath that page, this is an uh, indication of a relationship. I'm connecting the dots here with the lovers. Maybe someone has found out uh, because this mask comes off. Always two aspects and two sides of this magician for me and how I interpret it. Uh, it doesn't matter what the textbook says or whatever, you know, any other reader says. This is how I interpret this magician. There's a good side and there's a bad side. And it's actually energy related to an actual person. This magician is a trickster, excuse me, a trickster, um, a manipulator, someone who uh, is reckless in terms of their behaviors, someone who is uh, careless and doesn't really give a shit about, you know, what they do if there's an exchange with you and how it comes across. This is a person that's underneath a young bull that I'm reading for. And maybe the young bull that I'm reading for discovers that this this is the mask falling off when it's in the reverse. This is a major arcana, the magician. The mask falls off and it fell off because of the simple fact that the mask, when it goes on or they put the mask on in the upright position. They can't maintain that energy of whatever it is that they're trying to get from you. Sex, money, drugs, uh, love, whatever your friendship, you know, even though it would be false in nature, the mask comes off. Also, too, on the uh, other aspect of this magician, uh, sometimes the energy relates to narcissism, sociopathic behaviors. Um, but the other side of this is that when it's in the reverse, then all of the elements that are normally present in the upright position um, are there to help you and assist you to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to um, achieve, you know, in your life. But when it's in the reverse, those elements, they're just not there. It may be, a, you know, a couple of them there, but all four are not there to help you or assist you. And so still. Uh, whatever it is that you might be trying to manifest, if it is a relationship or if it's a job, um, it may not be something that comes to pass readily. All right. Not that I'm saying it's not going to ever come, but it may not be something is lacking here. Uh, something is lacking, something that you may be lacking to get that job, uh, to get that relationship. Or whatever else is, you know, that you want to manifest and bring into your life. And normally the magician, which is a number one in the upright position, is the contrast of uh, new beginnings, the start of something new. OK, something, as I said before, as the uh, page of Pentacles is something is on its way. This also could be in a uh, relationship to that that is still on its way. But it's just not going to be something that may materialize within this two week period of time now. Interestingly enough, we have the six of pentacles that's underneath the uh, lover's card. So, yeah, there's something going on. Somebody's having either uh, difficulties or issues with finances and it's related to a partnership or, you know, could be a business partnership, romantic partnership. This is money being owed. It also could be money being returned to you. If uh, there was any lending out to anyone else, this is a card of generosity in the upright position. OK, someone offers you uh, something. This could be a job. And then, you know, in the upright position, he's holding the scale. That's 
balancing. So that creates a financial balance for some and then could be an emotional balance as well, even though we have the cups absent. Uh, someone is either returning money to a Taurus or there's money still owed to Taurus by somebody. And it could be a business partner, romantic partner, could be a friend, could be a family member. All right. Now the King of Wands is showing up here. So someone is definitely um, ending some sort of conflict with a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Now, I say the ending because of the 10 of swords that's, uh, you know, over top of the King of Wands. So the energy of this King of Wands, normally the King of Wands in the upright is all about this person because this is an actual person. It's a court card. Uh, being very, very term determined and usually going after what it is that they're focused on when it's in the upright position. But when it's in the reverse position, there could be, all you know, those things of if it's just your energy. And, you know, even though it is a court card and doesn't relate to any of the messages that I had just said to you about, you know, ending conflicts with a fire sign. This is a decrease in passion. Well, we'll go inside or coincide with the magician as not having those elements or uh, enough of those things to get whatever it is that you uh, want to manifest. And then there's a decrease of passion because this is a card of passion. King and Queen of, of Wands is always about great passion and intensity. Uh, you know, when it's, you know, when I'm doing romantic um, readings, it relates to, and you know, could be a very intense and extreme sex. But it could be that there's uh, somebody has a, a lack of desire or a passion uh, with some area of their life. OK, this is a card of energy as well. So it might be just, you know, messages related to somebody, you know, getting over a, some sort of surgical procedure and you don't have the energy uh, because you're still recuperating. Just giving you an example. It's not something that's written in stone. All right. So the following and the very last card that I have for you, Taurus is the ace of pentacles so there you go so the job is on wait or on hold and then the ace of pentacle could represent the job on wait on hold the promotion on wait on hold could be the relationship that i mentioned before romantic or something happens uh with a friendship or it could be something going on in the family aces are fresh starts new beginnings that offer of a job or a romantic partnership is coming through and so like i said um, it may be just, you know, some of the energy that takes place in the first week of, uh, you know, May or the energy that I've given you for, you know, the seventh through, I don't know when the cutoff is, but anyway, this represents the first week and then this will, uh, bottom half will represent the second week, but the energy can unfold at any given time. So it doesn't really matter, but the Ace of Pentacles is saying that their job, someone is offering something to you. Okay. Something is coming your way. Ace of Pentacles. That could be also the, uh, if there was a delay in birth, the birth is coming. The child is coming. So I like this energy for you. So whatever takes place, at least by the tail end of the two weeks for you, there's some uh, positive energy. Someone gets a new job. Someone gets, uh, this could also relate to a, a new friendship development. Since it's underneath the two of uh, pentacles. Someone could be offering you assistance with your finances. Again, someone returns money. It mirrors the six of uh, pentacles in the reverse position. Ace of pentacles. Someone returns money that is owed. This is the money that's being returned. Look at the hand gesture. That's the pentacle in the hand and they're giving you something. All right. That is, could go out just as well as you returning some sort of money. But it's, I'm your, doing your reading, so I feel that it's money coming towards you. It might be money coming or expecting money from a fire sign. You know, the, the, the king of wands is an older energy. This could be a father, grand, grandfather, grandmother, because the king could represent male or female energies. Someone older than you and someone returns uh, possibly some money. It can, you know, could come from another earth sign. Another earth sign. All right. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Uh, I hope it's helpful and beneficial. Again, please be safe this entire um, month in the next two weeks for sure. Please enjoy and celebrate your birthdays responsibly. Um, 
Happy Mother's Day once again. And happy Cinco de Mayo. Tell I talk to you in the next two weeks. Take care. Taurus. Bye.